American Medical Systems presents Elevate PC Anterior and Apical Prolapse Repair System. anterior wall incision. Inject a local anesthetic, vasoactive solution such as lidocaine with epinephrine. Make a 2 to 3 centimeter midline incision on anterior wall starting from bladder neck moving toward the apex. Anterior wall dissection. Dissect underneath the pubocervical fascia utilizing a full thickness dissection technique up to the level of the apex. Utilize blunt dissection to maintain dissection in the same plane. Dissect toward the ischial spine and palpate with your index finger bilaterally. Sweep medially approximately 2 cm from the ischial spine along the sacrospinous ligament. Perform this technique for both patient right and left sides. Loading the anterior fixation tips. When loading the anterior fixation tip onto the anterior needle, a snap should be felt indicating that the tip is fully engaged, which prevents rotation or disengagement during placement. Visualize the needle tip protruding through the distal end of the anterior fixation tip. Inserting the anterior fixation tips. Aim the anterior needle tip towards the obturator foramen approximately one centimeter medial to the ischiopubic ramus while holding the needle curve against the index finger. The needle trajectory should be horizontal to the bladder neck. Using a lateral arcing motion, guide the needle around the back side of the ischiopubic ramus. Then pivot the handle to ensure the fixation tip approaches perpendicular placement into the obturator internus muscle. Advance the needle until the blue midline marker on the mesh is aligned with the vaginal incision. Once the graft is in position, release the fixation tip by pulling back on the sliders with two fingers of the contralateral hand. Keep the slider depressed while removing the needle. Perform this technique for both patient's right and left sides. Affix center of the graft to the bladder neck with sutures. Graft trimming and suture placement. Trim the apical end of the body to the desired length based on the patient's anatomy. Place two or more delayed absorbable sutures at the vaginal apex for later attachment to the graft. Loading the apical needle. Insert the apical needle into the self-fixating tip on an apical fixation arm. When inserted, the needle tip will be visible through the end of the fixation tip, and the tines will always be parallel relative to the curvature of the needle. Once the apical fixation arm is attached, slide the plastic sheath, with window closest to the handle, over the needle until a click is heard. Verify the entire fixation arm is covered and the needle tip is not protruding from the distal end of the sheath. Positioning the apical needle. To position the apical needle, locate the sacrospinous ligament by palpation. While keeping your palpating finger on the ligament, guide the tip of the loaded needle and sheath alongside and lateral to the finger towards the ligament. For patient left, hold the needle in the 5 o'clock position. For patient right, hold the needle in the 7 o'clock position. Inserting the apical fixation arms. Place tip of the sheath at the base of the palpating finger such that it is perpendicular and on the caudal side of the sacrospinous ligament two centimeters from the ischial spine. With your index finger, press and hold the release mechanism on the handle and drive the needle and fixation tip into the ligament. Remove the needle and sheath 
by pulling back gently on the needle until it disengages from the tip. Pull gently on the fixation arm to ensure it is securely fixed in the ligament. Repeat these steps for placement of the fixation arm in the contralateral side. Deploying the graft. To deploy the graft, locate one of the loose eyelets on the graft body and slide the apical fixation arm anchored on the same side through the center of the eyelet. From the top side of the graft, pull the fixation arm through the eyelet and repeat on the contralateral side. Feed the previously placed sutures through the graft at the proximal tail of the graft. Position and adjust graft. To position the graft, insert the end of either fixation arm through tip of the adjustment tool. Hold the apical fixation arm medially within the introitus and slide adjustment tool down the apical fixation arm toward the graft, pushing into the pelvic cavity. Slide the graft body down the apical fixation arms until the desired position is obtained. Deploying the locking eyelets. Once final graft placement has been achieved, Attach the female end of the eyelet applicator into the end of each fixation arm. Slide one locking eyelet onto the fixation arms at least two centimeters and disengage the applicator. Using the adjustment tool and alternating sides throughout the process, slide the locking eyelets down the fixation arms into the pelvic cavity while maintaining medial positioning within introitus. Continue advancing the locking eyelets down the apical fixation arms until they reach the graft and palpate to verify the locking eyelets rest against the surface of the graft. Trim the fixation arms. Trim the fixation arms so at least one centimeter of mesh extends past the locking eyelet and verify the end of the discarded fixation arm contains mesh. Anterior wall management. Minimize trimming of excess vaginal mucosa. Perform cystoscopy. Completely close vaginal incision with your choice of suture. Insert vaginal packing.